Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a little bit about string manipulation in PowerShell. Now strings are prevalent in PowerShell all over the place. It's probably the most common data type that you can find. So it's important to know how to uh, parse strings and um, uh, manipulate them. So let's go over a quick example here. I'm going to define a variable here called string and I'm going to make it ABC123 space DEF. So let's say that I want to find the first character in this string. So how do you think I should do that? Well, the you can do that by using a substring method. So one way is to use a substring method. So let's go ahead and create that substring. So in every string, since everything is an object in PowerShell, um, every object has methods. And the string method has a, um, a the string object has a method called substring, as you can see here, substring. And you can add the parens there to specify the parameters. So the first parameter is the um, uh, the string that the first character of the string that you define. So if I want to find the very first one, it'll be zero. So everything starts with a zero. So and I just want to find the first character. So I can do a comma here, and let's see that I have length. Length is the second argument. So I can put a one here. Now let's try this out and see what happens. And you'll see that it has, it brought back an A. That's how you can pull out substrings. So let's say I want to do the first three of that string. I can then pull it out again, run it again, and you see it's now ABC. Um, now let's say that you want to pull out this one, two, three. You just want to pull out the fourth through the seventh one. So because the indexes start with zero, if I wanted the fourth character, I start with three, and then I want to do three characters to the right. So that should pull out one, two, three. And you'll see that it's one, two, three. So the substring method is a really good way to um, uh, pull out information. Now there's another way that you can do by converting this string into what's called a byte array. Now to do that, you can do string to character array. It's actually called a character array to be more specific. Um, and once you do that, then that converts all these characters into specific elements. It's not just one big string. So let's see, let's see what this does when I just output it here as a character array. You'll see that these are all individual string, all individual characters now, one per on each line here. So this is another way to pull out um, one or more characters. So since this now is an array, we can use um, index identifiers. So what this means is this is the first character in this character array. So if you run this, you'll see that I can pull out A. If I pull, um, you know, if we do character two here, this should pull out B. Oh, sorry, start of the zero. Some, sometimes I forget that too. So it's zero, one, and two, so that's the third character. So that would be C, that's correct. And if you wanna pull out more than one, you can even use a range. So let's say I wanna do two through four. I'll try this again. And you'll see that I can pull out C, one, and two. That is the third through the what is that, the fourth um, character array. But you'll see that these are not, um, it's not a string here. Uh, this is, these are actually an array. So if I go, if I pipe this to get member and run this, I scroll down here a little bit. You'll see that it's system.car. So every index in this array, or every, every element in this array is a system.car. Um, but let's say that you want to actually combine all those together and make it C12. To do that, we can use the join operator. So we're going to do just join. And you see that it's now C12. So that's a good way we can split it out, get what we want, and also then join them together. 
Um, this is exactly the same thing as you would do over here to say, let's say I want to do the substring to give you a good example of comparison. I'll do this over here. Uh, you'll see that, oh, yep. See, this, this doesn't mean the uh, fourth character. This actually means start at the third character here. So start at three and go four characters to the right. This is a little bit, uh, this might be a little confusing at first because this is actually a range. This just means give me the second through the fourth. This actually means give me the second and go four to the right of it. So it's a little bit different. So that's a good way to, um, uh, a good way to manipulate strings and to get strings, um, to get other substrings out of the strings. There's a few different ways to, to do that, but um, this should give you a good starting point of just pulling out general um, substrings inside of uh, other substrings.